You know, it's always good. I, I heard from a bunch of former players I hadn't heard from in a while uh, last night. It's it's good to know you can help change lives. That's why I came back to college. Change lives. You know, I haven't even thought about. It. I've heard. <laughs> you know, I've had some contact with a couple coaches. Ironically, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I want to make sure, first off, our assistant coaches get taken care of. You know, there's no contracts here. So I want to make sure they're taken care of properly. Um, and I want to make sure these kids are okay. I need to, uh, later on this week, talk with them and help them through this. Uh, you know, your your relationship with them are different. Sometimes it's a father, a brother, an uncle, whatever. That kind of relationship, so... I need to make sure I can spend time with them. But uh, I haven't thought about where. <laughs> yes, just want to try to get me in trouble, huh? Yes, I, I thought I would be here to be able to build it and at least try to have an opportunity to see it through. <laughs> well, I guess then you got to decide what you want to be. You want to jump a no sweep? See, <laughs> you could try to do things the right way, or you can throw caution to the wind and just do whatever it is you have to do to, to win, be it from admissions, be it from what you do and give to your players, from facilities. And, I mean, if you want to get in that game, then you got to get in it. You can't have one foot in that game and one foot in trying to do it and build it and, and do something a certain way. It doesn't work that way. Some schools have inherent advantages. Everybody knows that. Texas, Ohio State, you because it is what it is. The rest of us, you got to decide what you want to do. There's a reason why college football, college football is cyclical. There's a reason why five years ago half the teams in this top ten or seven of them in the top ten now weren't there. And five years from now, they probably won't be there either. But if you want to, if you want to be there consistently, you got to change a lot of things. I wouldn't, because it would have meant shortcuts. Yeah, you got to roll the dice on a lot of different things. And you expose the university, you can put the university at risk. There's a lot of things. If you if you just if you hire the next guy and say you got 2 years, keep your fingers crossed. Well, when you're doing that, that's when you start talking about whether you're paying for athletes, you're talking about uh, Great things you're talking about, not worrying about your kids going to class, getting a guy in here that you got for two or three years, and he's out. You know, there's there's a lot of things you can do that can circumvent doing it the right way. If you just – you basically want to get mercenaries, just guys that you're going to bring in here to use to try to win, and then whatever happens to them happens to them. And if you get lucky and you win and you move on to the next job because you're going to be in trouble here because you're not going to have APR, you're, you know, you're going to leave the, the program in shambles. If you don't do it the right way, there's, there is, so it's, it's, you know, I don't know anyone that's done it. I'm sure it probably has been done. 